Hello everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we're going to be playing with the October 2022 Brutus Monroe card kit called Baked Fresh. And it is awesome. So yes, this is their inspiration box. I already have some images colored um, just for time's sake. And so I colored out a bunch of the images from the stamp set and then there are matching dies to go with this. I'll have a link down below to the unboxing so you can see what all came in this kit. But yeah, it, it's a great kit. I love these images so much. And I have um, a few cards to share with you at the end after I show you the making of this one. So we're going to tack down all of the matching dies that go with the images that I have. I went ahead and colored these using my Olo markers and stamped those out onto some Express It cardstock, all alcohol marker friendly. But this inspiration kit is all about baking. So as you can see, we've got bread, we've got, we do have some leaves, it's ready for fall. There are pie images in this stamp set. The sentiments are darling. And so there they are all die cut out. And I'm gonna use one of the foilables because of course, and I am going to, um, ink blend some color onto this one. So I've got some over the moon Simon Hurley create ink and I've got a blending buddy and I'm going to blend that at the bottom just so it looks nice and ombre. And then I'm bringing in some of the deco foil, uh, foil that I have. Now there are a couple different kinds of foil out there. You want to make sure you're getting the right kind of foil. This deco foil is the one to use with the mink machine or possibly use it with like a, um, um, laminator. I've done that in the past and I like to put the foil down and put that between two pieces of copy paper as I run this through my mink machine. Uh, but there, like I said, there are two different kinds of foils out there. You just want to make sure you're getting the right one. There are foils for the, the spellbinders machine. And then there's foil for using like heat transfer type of stuff like this. So yeah, definitely read your packaging to make sure you're getting the right one. And I'm running this through my mink machine. It does take a little bit of time, not a ton of time, but it does take a little bit of time. And then once it's through, we'll be able to pull that out and then peel that foil away. It's always magic in my opinion, when I peel back the foil because it just, oh, it's so, so pretty. So yeah, we'll put everything away. We'll turn off our machine and kind of let that cool down. And then I'll peel that away slowly. And then you can see how that looks. I love it. It's so pretty. If you do have some overfoiling, an eraser will work. Even a sanding eraser would work as well. But just a regular eraser works fine for me. I'll get my card base ready. And check out. Can you see that shininess? I love it. I love it. We're going to tack down our panel to our card base using some liquid glue. And then I'm going to play around with the placement of all of those images. I wanted them all on one card. I know I stamped out everything. The leaves I did stamp out a couple different times, obviously. Uh, but I wanted all the bread on one, one card. Like I said, I'll show you the other cards that I made at the end of this video. So definitely stick around. But yeah, this one for sure. Oh goodness. Bread. I'm, I'm gluten intolerant. So I miss bread, but, um, yeah, my mom bakes bread all the time. So does my daughter. And then they send pictures and I'm always like, oh, I wish I could eat that. But yeah, all the time using their bread machine. So I love this stamp set. This is going to be one of those that I'll probably send them many cards with because yeah, bread. I mean, for me, potatoes are life, but bread's right up there. <laughs> Body by potato over here. <laughs> All right, and then I did pull out one of the foilable sentiments. I didn't foil it, but we're going to put that one down. That one just says thank you very much. And then with the leftover leaves and that pear, I'm going to stick those on the inside of the card. I often love to do that if you are new here. Um, that is just one of those things I like to do. I like to bring the outside in. Um, so I would say 95% of the cards that I make, I do put something on the inside. It gives the recipient a little bit extra to kind of take a look at. And then I'm going to bring in the sequins that came in the kit. These are great. I love that they are, there's like three different colors and three different sizes in here. I feel like when you've got the different sizes and variations and color and things like that, it's much more visually appealing. And so I'm super stoked about that. <clears throat> and there's so many in the kit. So you could make a shaker and decorate all your cards. In fact, I did decorate all uh, five of the cards that I made. 
But that's going to finish off this card that I wanted to share with you today. Look at that gold foiling. It's stunning. And now we're going to take a look at the other four cards that I made just so that you have an idea. Just get some ideas on other things that you can do with this kit. But here, let me show you. So this one uses some red foil and one of the pies. Check it out. Oh, golly, that foiling. I, I just don't get sick of it. This one uses another pie and it uses some splattering and the pattern paper, another one with pattern paper, and this last one with some foiling. I'm so happy with all of them and I hope you like them too. If you did like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.